upon all the things that you have given unto me. Lord, I'm standing today to say thank you, Lord. 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 To say thank you, Lord God, Daddy. Daddy, we say thank you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Brethren, a living dog is better than a dead lion. When you have life, you have everything. When you are still alive, you have the hope of tomorrow. When you see the 10th month, you are better off than those that see the first man, but they have gone. So I want you to lift your voice and say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for keeping me alive. Keeping me alive. I, am I am in the sanctuary, not in the mortuary this the morning. Mortuary. This first Sunday Lord, of the 10th month, I just want to say thank you, Lord, thank you that I appreciate you for life. For I appreciate you for thank this. You that you have done for me, Lord God, that I appreciate you, Lord God, that I appreciate you, oh Lord. I travel and you kept me. I ate and you kept me. I just want to say thank you, Lord God. I just want to say thank you for every members of my family. I just want to say thank you for every members of this church, those that are here in the sanctuary, and those that are watching, Lord, we want to say thank you, Lord, that by your grace you have sustained us, and by your grace you have brought us to this tenth month. Lord, we give you all the glory. Lord, we give you all the honor. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I pray that the Lord we accept all our sacrifice. We accept our prayers Amen. and he will pour his blessings upon us. Amen. On this first Sunday of the 10th month, amen. if you believe, let your amen be louder. Amen. As we are worshiping the Lord with our song on higher height, the Holy Spirit said I should tell somebody that thing that you have been waiting for. Ah, mm. hey. Said the waiting is over. Hey. It's over. Amen. It's over because the world will see it. Amen. The world will see it. Amen. And they will give glory to your heavenly father. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I celebrate with that person. And I rejoice with you. And I'm waiting for your testimony unto your maker. Amen. Tell your neighbor the waiting is over. My waiting, my waiting is over. I say my waiting is over. My waiting is over. I don't know who is that for either a business proposal, either a let whatever in that form. Say your waiting is over. My waiting is over. This is the month of growth. That that grace will grow and you will be visible in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible said there is no one that will light a lamp and put it under the bushel. This is your month of visibility. Amen. Those that need to see you, they will see you this month. Amen. Your life will grow out this month. Amen. I say your life will grow up this month in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And your life will give glory to your maker Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Quickly, I want you to have your seat. As you know, today is a Thanksgiving and Blessing Sunday. And quickly, we would like to appreciate God for life. Everybody say life. For those that were born in the month of October, or they have their wedding anniversary in the month of October, we would like to celebrate God in your life. Amen. Because it's the Lord God that keep it. And he has kept you to see another beautiful month of joy beautiful month of celebration. So if the 10th month is your month, I want you to rise up so that the people of God can just celebrate God for your life. Amen. Wow. Hallelujah. Choir, please. Celebrate them. 
and let them dance forward to say, Lord, thank you for another beautiful month, for the birthday, for the anniversary, for the blessings, for the breakthrough. Lord, we say thank you. Dance forward wherever you are. month celebrant say a loud amen. amen let the heaven hear your amen. amen we celebrate you and we bless God for adding another month another year to your life amen, amen. I want the church to stretch hands towards them the Bible declared that in the tenth month the water decreases and Noah and his family, they were able to come out of the ark. Over your life in this 10th month, every waters of life that has not allowed you to be visible, let the heaven decrease them in the name of Jesus Christ. In this 10th month, you will receive double grace. You will receive double joy. You will receive double blessings in all areas of your life in the name of Jesus in this 10 month you will not know sorrow you will not know shame failure will be far away from you affliction will be far away from you in the mighty name of Jesus and every good things of life that you have brought onto this month to make it a joy and a fulfilling month may you not lose them in the name of Jesus come October 2025 as we declared over your life today, you will be living, you will be alive in the name of Jesus Christ. The, the word of God said, which long life will I satisfy? The word of God shall be fulfilled upon your life in the name of Jesus. October 2025, your seat will not be vacant. October 2025, your family will not gather in remembrance of sorrow, but they will gather to celebrate you to celebrate God in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. And so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. If you are happy for the celebrant, praise the Lord. Let's do it one more time. If you are not happy for the celebrant, say amen. I told you. <laughs> Let's come together. <laughs> Let's come together and take a picture. We are all happy for you. <laughs> and we all celebrate you. I love the color of that cake. Can we celebrate? Where is Sister Debola? The Lord will beautify your life in the name of Jesus. Is that not green and white? <laughs>
Let's rise up. Lord, you are I say, Lord, you are so good. Morning, you are good. The night time, you are good. I said, You've been there for me. I said, You have been there. I've come to say, I've come to say, Hey, hey, Lord, you are good. Amen. I want us to worship God. Just to say, Lord, thank you for this special month, for your special love.
Father, we thank you. Lord, we exalt you. You are beautiful. You are excellent. You are marvelous. Thank you for the honor that you have released upon our life. Thank you for sustaining our life. For the last nine months, it is by your grace. Day by day, we can see your hands upon our life. Month by month, we can see you doing greater and mighty things. Lord, before we ask, you know all our needs. This morning, we say thank you. Blessed Redeemer, we say thank you. The God that can do all things, we say thank you. Blessed Redeemer, we honor you. Lord, take all the glory. In this Thanksgiving and Blessing Sunday, Lord, take all the honor. Lord, one thing we desire today, that they do more than our asking. In every areas of our life. For we know not what to ask for, but your spirit teaches us. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. This hour, O oh Lord, speak to our heart. Move every mountain. Pour your spirit into our soul. And change us to be another man. To be a better man. And cause our life to increase. Cause us to grow in you. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Before you take your seat, we are going to pray. One prayer we are going to be prayed this month is over every hand in this church. Amen. Amen. Before we get to this month, remember last month, every Sunday we are praying for all our children. Amen. Amen. For this month is so peculiar and so particular about your growth. And we are going to be praying every Sunday over every hand in this church. And I want you to give me the book of Job, Job chapter 8, verse 7. I like it in the Amplified Bible. Job chapter 8, verse 7. Though your beginning was insignificant, small, little, but your end will have a new testimony. Amen. Your end will be greatly what? Increase. Amen. Lift your two hands unto the heaven. I don't know what these hands have touched. I don't know what you believe God with these two hands. I don't know what God you want God to do with these hands. The Bible says, though your beginning was insignificant, but yet your end will be what? Greatly increased. Lift those hands to heaven and say, Father. As I lift my hands before you, as I lift my hand before you, increase these two hands, increase this hand of mine to overcome every insignificant in my life in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Whatever you are using your hands for, the same small that looks insignificant as we enter this month of growth, be it your business, be it your career, be it your marriage, in this month, oh Lord, increase me. These are my hands, oh Lord. I lift them before you. Cause my hand, increase me greatly in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me be increased on every side. Let me be increased on every area in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever I lay my hands upon, oh Lord, let them increase. You are a God of increase. You are a God of increase. That they increase me. Brethren, pray for an increase of the Lord upon your life. Pray for an increase of God upon your business. Pray for an increase of God upon your career. 
pray for an increase of God of anointing upon your life. Pray for an increase of God of his grace upon your life. You shall be greatly increased. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. We all know the story of Joseph very well. The project in the life of Joseph was stagnant. Joseph cried to the butler. When you get out, don't forget me. And that project was star for two years. But when Joseph came out, Joseph's life was increased what? Greatly. Joseph was just asking, just take me out. That is all I want. But what everyone has packaged for Joseph was far better for more than what Joseph was asking. I don't know what you have been asking for before you come here today. The Lord God that can increase greatly will increase you on every area. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every project of your life that has been stagnated, every progress of your life that has been stagnated, as we enter into this month, there shall be a great increase in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Increase on the left, yes. increase on the right, yes. increase in the front, yes. increase in the back, yes. increase all around you Amen. shall be your testimony this month in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you believe, let your amen be louder. Amen. As you are taking your seat quickly, I want to welcome you to the 10th month and Greet your neighbor that you made it. I'm so glad that you made it. I'm so glad that you made it. Many rain has fallen. Many lives has been taken. But you and I, we are still here today. Tell your neighbor, I'm so glad that you made it. And you will make it to the end of this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. I celebrate every one of you, especially the Levi. Let me celebrate this choir. You are going higher in the name of Jesus Christ. You are going better, stronger in the name of Jesus. Nothing will diminish you. Your strength will not be abated in the name of Jesus. And thank you all the instrumentalists as well. We thank God for your life. Amen. The media, help me shout it out to the media. The engineering, the children, teachers, the holy police, amen. The offspring, we thank God for all your sacrifices. May the Lord God of increase, increase you greatly in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, there is a proverb in my country, Jerusalem, amen. As a very good farmer, you know, um, I grew up a little bit in the farm. I know some few things about the farm. We are going to talk about that. Amen. As a child of a farmer, it's only when you're... How many people know what is a yam? Before I go to the... What is a yam? Y-A-M. Yam, yam, yam. Potatoes. <laughs> Do you know yam doesn't fall from the tree? Where does yam come from? Some of our children doesn't even know what I'm talking about. Amen. So the proverb is... It's only when your yam has not grown so big that will be able to cover it. Amen? When your yam grows so big in your father's farm, you will be proud to call your friend to come and see what God is doing in your father's farm. Are you with me? It's only when your blessings has not increased greatly that you will be afraid. Are you with me? But when that blessing becomes so greatly increased, beyond what you have prayed for or what you have asked for, then you, you just hand off. Because you will know it's no longer by you, but it is the God that worketh in you. 
Ephesians 3, 20 say, he is the one that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above what we ask or think according to the power. There is a power of greatness inside of you. And this very month, that power will begin to work for your favor on every area in the name of Jesus. If you believe, let your amen be louder. I'm believing God for your testimony. And very soon you are coming to testify that this God is a Jehovah overdue. You ask for one, he gives you ten. Are you with me? You ask for ten, he gives you hundred. Are you with me? You ask for hundred, he gives you thousand. Am I talking to somebody this morning? That shall be your testimony. If you are with me, let your amen be louder. And tell your neighbor, that will be your testimony. I will be here to rejoice with you. I will be here to rejoice with you. If you believe, let your amen be louder. Brethren, don't be shy when your fellow brother is speaking to your life. If they can't speak to their own life, at least they will speak to your own life for you. Let somebody say amen. amen. Quickly, today briefly we are going to talk about Thanksgiving, the secret of growth. Thanksgiving, the secret of what? Of growth. We thank God for all the ministers that the Lord has used greatly this morning. Some of them have touched part of this growth as we have come to the month of growth. And I want you to open to Psalm 67. Psalm 67 verses 5 to 7. As we are talking about growth, may your life never diminish. Psalm 67 from verses 5 to 7. Let the people praise you, O God. Let all the people praise you. Then, everybody say then. The earth shall yield an increase. God, our own God, shall bless us. Verse 7. God shall bless us. And all the end of the earth shall do what? Shall fear him. There are some blessings that when you receive it, you, you become fearful. Are you with me? There are some blessings that when it comes upon your life, it creates fear of God within you. Because the desire of God for you and for me is for us to increase year by year, month by month. It is not the will of God for all his children to ever be stagnant. Praise the Lord. Amen. And that is why the Bible makes us to know in the book of Luke chapter 13. Give me Luke chapter 13. When you look at that chapter from verses 6 to 7 down, Jesus was talking about a gardener. And when the, when the, the owner of the garden comes around and he was asking about the parable of a fig tree that was planted in his vineyard, and he came around, he was looking for a fruit. He was looking for an increase on the tree that was being planted. But when he could not find anything, he was disappointed. He asked the keeper, look, for three years, I have come seeking for fruit on this fig tree. For three years, I have come repeatedly seeking for what? For an increase. But I see none. And he said, cut it down. May your life never be cut down. May your family never be cut down. May your marriage never be cut down. The desire of the one that has planted you here on earth is for your life to experience increase. But when he came year after year, he could not see any increase. And he's asking the gardener, what has gone wrong? But the gardener says something. He says, hold on. Let's wait for another one year. This year, 2024, we speak for your increase in the name of Jesus. I say, this year, 2024, we speak for your destiny. If you believe, let your amen be louder. Brethren, to grow means to increase. To experience increase in whatsoever that you are doing or whatsoever that has been given unto you. Praise the Lord. We just look at this, that parable of a gardener that could not see any increase. But we also see what Jesus told us in Matthew 25. In Matthew 25, if you read from verses 14 through 18, tell us about the story of the talent. The owner 
was about to go on a journey and call all his servants. He gave one five talent. He gave another two talent. And he gave him one talent. By the time he returned back, his expectation is for them to have what? To have increased from what they were being given. But when the owner of the talent came back, the one that was given five has doubled the five. The one that was given two has increased multiple. But the one that was given one talent buried the talent. And for the fact that what he was being given, he could not use it to increase it. That one was what? Taken away from him. I prayed over your life today. Whatsoever that heaven has given to you, may it not be taken away in the name of Jesus Christ. The agenda of heaven is for us to increase. It's for us to grow. And as we have come today, I pray that you will experience growth on every day in the name of Jesus Christ. Thanksgiving and giving thanks and praises unto the Lord is one of the secrets of growth. It's one of the revelation of growth. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 7, 1 Corinthians 3, 7, I know it's been quoted already. I like the amplified version of that 1 Corinthians 3, 7. It says, so neither is the one who planted, neither is the one who plant, nor the one who water. But, everyone say but, only God who causes the growth. There is no growth that you want to experience in life outside God. You want growth in your business. You want growth in your marriage. You want growth up for your spiritual relationship with God. You can't take it outside God. And that is why for us to grow in the pattern of heaven, it must be with God. And I prayed over your life this morning, this afternoon, that your praises and your thanks brings divine growth upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever you have been waiting for, whatsoever that has caused your heart to be weary, as we have gathered today, may you receive the intervention of heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. So your thanksgiving and your praises, they are the secret of growth. Praise the Lord. Also, getting access unto the presence of the Lord by offering thanks is a secret of growth. According to Psalm 100 verse 4. Psalm 100 verse 4. It says, enter unto his gate with thanksgiving and unto his court with praise. He said, be what? Be thankful to him and bless his holy name. The more you are offering praises and thanks unto the Lord, it keeps you in his presence. And the more you tarry in his presence, the more you experience growth. Brethren, not having a genuine fellowship with our God is detrimented to your own increase. You cannot grow outside God. You cannot because he is the one that causes the tree to grow. And as we gather this day, your thanks and your praises, may it bring great increase upon you in the name of Jesus. Amen. So therefore, brothers and sisters, if there is anything in your life as a Christian that seems not to grow, that seems not to increase, the key is giving thanks. Giving thanks for that thing that you want God to increase. If you have a job and you are not satisfied with that job, the secret to get a better job is what? Thanking God for that want that you have. Are you with me? If you're on a level and you desire to be on the other level, thank God for that level where you are is the key to increase to the next level. How do your praise produces growth quickly as I'm rounding up? How can your giving praise? How can my thanks produces growth? I told you 
in my growing up life, I know a little bit about farming. Because we have a farm in our village that my great-grandfather passes on to my father. So once in a blue moon, we always go to the farm. Even though we are raised that you should not let any flies touch you in the farm. Praise the Lord. But my father will always bond to us just to get us to know more about farming. So for you to grow, there are three prerequisites that is very important to your growth in life. We are going to go through the three of them quickly. The first, anything about growth, there must be a very good environment. For any tree to grow, they must be where? In the right environment. That is number one. Number two, for any good tree to grow, they must, what? there must be a seed. If you don't have the right seed, no matter how fertile the soil could be, you are not going to experience any growth. And last but not the least is what I call the light or the environment. If you plant a seed, very good seed, in a very good soil, if the environment is not very conducive, there will be no growth. Are you with me? So quickly, what are we talking about having the right soil for your growth? Your praise must be from a heart of gratitude. Your heart is the soil that can cause your praise and thanks to give you growth. If you are coming with a heart of grumbling, if you are coming with a heart of complaining, you cannot receive anything great thing. You cannot receive any increase. Your heart is the soil that your praises will rest upon to give you a very good increase. May your heart be pure this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. According to Psalm 9 verse 1, Psalm 9 verse 1 says, I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart, with my whole heart. I will tell of all your wonderful works. Your heart must be holy unto the Lord. You cannot come with a half-hearted heart of gratitude and say, Lord, I lift my hands to praise you. Your heart must be holy, giving him thanks. When you come on that ground, all your praises and your thanks will produce a greater increase into your life. So anytime we are coming, brethren, even though I know the journey might be rough, even though I know there are so many bills that need to be paid, even though I know there might be some circumstances that are not looking good, when you are standing before him, let your heart be pure and let your heart be filled with gratitude as you lift up your hands to offer praises unto him. That is the soil that produces a very great increase. Are you with me? When you come, you come with a gratitude heart. According to Colossians chapter 3, Colossians chapter 3, verse 16, B. I like just B of verse 16. It says, sing to God with gratitude in your heart. Your singing must come from what? From the heart. Your ad admonition to God must come from a whole heart, a pure heart. And that is what your thanks will rest upon. Everybody say, a very good soil. After you have a very good soil, then you must come with a very good seed. A very good seed. Your praises and your thanks enriches your spirit and your soul to receive the seed that you need to give unto your God. Are you with me, church? You must sow a very good seed. From what we read in our Bible passage in Psalm 67. You say what? Let the air, let the people praise thee, O oh God. Let all the people praise thee. Then, everybody say then. It's your praises is the seed that God is looking for. He didn't say, let the people gather, let the people gather. Then the earth will yield an increase. When you gather, there must be a seed. And that seed of increase is your praise. Let the people praise thee. When you come with that seed of praises on a very good soil, you are qualified for a growth. Are you with me? So you can come and you watch other people when they are praising their God. 
You can't come and be a spectator when others are raising their holy hands, thanking the Lord for what the Lord has done from the beginning of this year up to the 10th month. Do you know there are so many that they have their houses and they are paying their mortgage up to the last month. By the end of last month, their houses were gone. Praise the Lord. Do you know there are many people that have a desire, expectations of the end of this year. They are having plans how they are going to celebrate Christmas. They are having plans how they are going to cross over to 2025. They are no longer alive today. So your seed of giving thanks is what will produce an increase of a long life over you as you have come today. And I pray as you have come, the Lord God will accept your seed in the name of Jesus Christ. According to Luke chapter 8 verse 11, it said, The seed is the word of God. Brethren, do you know in praising the Lord, you are in his presence according to Psalm 100 verse 4. And God can begin to download so many ideas into your life. In praising the Lord is where God will begin to reveal many visions of your life, of your business, of your children, of your marriage unto your life. So by not worshiping him in truth and in spirit, you are denying yourself of greater things that God will do in your life. Tell neighbor, your seed is your greatness. Your seed is your greatness. I love Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. Hmm. Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. Whatsoever a man sowed, what will he reap? If you reap ingratitude, if you sow ingratitude, you can reap increase. If you sow complaining, you cannot reap growth. Whatsoever a man sowed, so shall he reap. If you sow thanks unto the Lord, the only thing that God cannot give to himself, God can praise himself. These people have I formed to show forth my praises. Every day you are awake, God is waiting. God is looking for you to raise an altar of praises unto him. Every day you are among the living, God is waiting for you to sing a beautiful song unto him. When was the last time you choose your own song? And you just begin to worship him without any instrument, without anybody motivating you. You motivate yourself based on what the Lord has done in your life. Is there anybody here today that want to tell me God has not done anything good? That God has not done anything wonderful in their life? But we are people of a short memory. What God did in January, many of us we don't remember today. And what he did in January is able to do it now, even more than what he did. All he's asking, just give me thanks. Let your seed be your greatness. The last thing is for you to have a quality increase when you bring your thanks, it must be in the right environment. Everybody say, right environment. When, what's the first thing that you need to have when you bring your thanks? What is the second thing that you must have? The last one, we go deeper a little bit. For your seed to grow in the right soil, for your thanks to produce a very great increase in your life, it must be in the right environment. When you worship God and you offer a tangible praise unto your God, it brings light, illumination unto your mind. How many of us know what they call photosynthesis? Okay, now. Photosynthesis. How many know what that means? Any biology students in the house? Joy, joy. Amen. Do you know the chemical reaction or chemical composition between light and your plant that is small today and tomorrow? You see the plant increases. That is why you cannot plant a tree and keep it in a dark room. When that plant did not see the light, that plant cannot what? 
cannot grow. The light of God in your life is what brings the growth that you need. The light of God is what your praises download onto your life. And when you receive the light, every darkness that does not want you to grow gives way out of your life. That is what your photosynthesis is all about. Rise up on your feet. I know it's a big word for many of you. Photosynthesis, pastor. Hmm. Amen. Psalm 119 verse 105 says, light brings growth. Say, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Your word is a light. When you praise him, his word in your heart, his word in your life becomes a light unto your life. Becomes the light that brings increase into everything around you. Why don't you lift your hands unto him this hour? I don't know which area you are lacking. I don't know what you want your praise to bring onto your life. We need a good soul. You need to have a good seed. And you need the right environment. For your praises to bring that increase onto your life. I want you to begin to appreciate God. Say, Lord, I bring myself unto you. I bring my life before you today, O oh Lord. Plant me, O oh Lord, on a good soil. Plant me, O oh Lord, on a good soil. That they make my life a living sacrifice unto you, O oh Lord. And let your light shine upon me. Brethren, begin to ask God for his light upon your life. So that when your life receives the light, there is no darkness that can stop you from growing. When your life receives the light, there is no power of the hair that can stop you from increase. I want you to begin to pray unto him. Lord, I desire increase in my life, increase in my family, increase in my ministry, increase in my marriage. Lord, I need your hands upon you, Lord. Lord, shine your light upon my life. Shine your light upon my life today. Shine your light upon my life. Oh, Lord, shine your light upon my life. I need your light today. I need your light today. Brethren, begin to pray. As you go in this month, let the light of God shine upon you. As you embark on the journey of this month, let the light of God overshadow you. As you go in this month, let the light of God make a way for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. There was a family that God planted in, the, in his garden. In Genesis chapter 3. All God wants for them is to tender the garden. All God desires for them is to bring, increase the best from that garden. But you all know the story. They fell. Why did they fail? According to Genesis chapter 3 verse 6. Genesis chapter 3 verse 6. I want you to put it on the screen. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired, a tree to be desired, a tree to be desired, to make one wise, she took one of the fruit and did eat and gave also unto her husband. That was their downfall. That was the end of their growth. That was the end of their relationship with the one that has been keeping them. You are going to pray to God and say, Father, Father, every desire of man, every desire of man that is contrary to your will for my life, to your will for my destiny, that they remove them today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray. You want to grow? You want God to increase you? But your desire must align with his desire. Your desire 
must match up with his desire. I want you to pray unto him. Let every desires of my life, let it align with your plan for my life. Every desire of my life, let it align with your purpose for my life. Every days of my life, let my desire align with your will in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, pray, brethren, say, Father, every desire that will take me down from where you have planted me, Daddy, take it away from my heart in the name of Jesus. Every desire of my agenda orchestrated to take me down, Lord, today, erase it from my life, erase it from my mind. Every desire that the enemy is pushing through any of our children's lives to cut them off, to destroy their destiny, Lord, today, we pray that you will deliver them from it all in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. All your desires this month move you forward. Amen. Any evil desires arranged, planned to bring you down never prevail in the name of Jesus. Amen. As you go in this month, may you receive the favor of the Lord. Amen. As you go this month, may your life experience an increase. Amen. On every area in the name of Jesus. Amen. Quickly, I want us to bless the Lord with our offering on this Thanksgiving and Blessing Sunday. Coming around to give a Thanksgiving offering is a key to receive increase financially and on every areas of your life. If you give unto the Lord, said he will be given back to you. Shake down, roll over. And men will rise up to favor your life on every area. Men will rise up to give to you things that you don't even ask for. Are you with me this morning, this hour? I want you to rise up on your feet with your thanksgiving offering. And I want you to lift them unto the heavens. This is the month of increase by growth. I want you to attach something that is spectacular, something that is great in your life, that you want God to increase. I want you to rise up on your feet, and I want you to lift that before the Lord. Don't just give. Give with reference. Give with a heart of desperation. Give with a heart that expects from the Lord. I want you to lift it before God. And I want you to say unto him, Lord, this is my seed. I need a 10,000 fold of increase upon this in the name of Jesus. If you put one dollar, God can magnify it by 10,000. If you put 1,000, God can multiply it by 10,000. Amen? Whatsoever a man soweth, so will it reap. Give unto the Lord this morning and speak to this your offering. Say, Lord, this is my offering unto you. Let it be a memorial before you. And let this offering bring back to me an increase on every areas of my life. An increase on every areas of my business, an increase on every area that I desire in this 10th month. Let doors be open unto me and let your glory be seen upon my life. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I believe I want you to know there is a clear difference between giving your tithe and giving a thanksgiving offering. Amen. We are not asking for a tithe. We are asking for giving an offering of thanksgiving unto the Lord. And as you are giving to the Lord today, I want you to put it down. In this month, you will not spend any of your money on sickness. 
you will not spend any of your money in sorrow. Because the Lord God you are giving to is a great God. And you will see the greatness of his increase over your life and over your finances. In this month in the name of Jesus. Choir please quickly. And I want you to dance. Show to the Lord. You are grateful for the two legs that God has given to you. And sing unto the Lord. Choir quickly. When I think about the things that you've done, my imagination has come to reality. Oh my God, oh, hey. you do this one. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. 
thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you, 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 we thank you. We thank you all. Song. 